<laughs> hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel, <laughs> my channel, <laughs> and it's almost Valentine's Day and we wanted to give some last minute Valentine's Day tips and advice, um, especially for long distance couples, but also for anyone who it happens to have the luxury of spending Valentine's Day with the person you love. Someone is a pro at last minute Valentine's Day planning, no names or anything. <laughs> So I figured that I would bring him along to share some of his tips for Valentine's Day. Cool. <laughs> Valentine's Day in college, I remember being very upset because, you know, everyone was asking me like, oh, like, what is Jonathan doing for you for Valentine's Day? And I was like, I don't know, because he hasn't said anything. And it was 4 p.m. on Valentine's Day when I got a paperless post like inviting me to like dinner or whatever. But it was like Chinese food and champagne. Clean room, got some flowers, some candles. That's the student budget. <laughs> some good food. Not just, okay, it must have good food. Food she enjoyed. You didn't think it was good food? No, I did, but. Okay, but it's more important that it's food that your partner enjoys. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you did paperless pose because I feel like if you had texted me, I would have like not shown up. That's kind of the icing on the cake. No. <laughs> could not say no. I could have said no. It was 4 p.m. Like, what if I had made plans to somebody else? <laughs> so if you are gonna be really last minute, send a really cute invitation <laughs> via paperless pose. Um, and then after college, as most of you guys know, we spent the next two years until now really long distance and so um, we I don't remember what we did the first Valentine's Day but I know the second one we Skype you can still you know have a date via Skype um, yeah what's up what's up is nice but what's up doesn't have like face-to-face -face calling mm. and I think it is important to see each other's faces yeah, true, true, true. And you can always send like cute little e cards. And then last year was our like second real Valentine's Day together, um, and that was here in California. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice. It was like a wine garden. Yeah. Went for dinner. <laughs> He's downplaying it. It was really nice. Um, and then this year we are going to be spending Valentine's Day in New York, so that should be fun and exciting and interesting. Okay, gift flowers. Yeah, no, I think some things are. Uh, yeah, flowers should be pretty easy, I guess, depending on where you are. Wine. Yeah, it's also. If you're you know, drinking age. Yeah, exactly. And you know, if, you, if, you, if you drink wine. Yeah, it's also pretty easy. And then it all depends on. You know, the lady, you know, at least some people here really enjoy their Chinese food. <laughs> there was one Chinese restaurant in college that I loved. I haven't found anything as good since then. Yeah, but I think at a basic level, you have to get those flowers. Especially if you're like messing up and like not planning on time. Yeah. Flowers, <laughs> yeah, because you know, flowers are an necessity. Chocolate is also nice. I don't really like chocolate, so um, I feel like if you ever buy me chocolate, you're really buying yourself chocolate because you're the one who likes chocolate. So it's for me, but you're really gonna eat it by yourself. Mm, it's for us. It's for you. <laughs> if, if you want to give a gift to a guy for Valentine's Day, um, I think simple but thoughtful things like cologne are nice if you like want to, you know, go above and beyond. Chocolates typically make everyone happy, so those are also a good bet. Um, but I also have found that I think if you want to do something low cost, just cooking like a home cooked meal, <laughs> that I think would go over really well. You know, make the ambiance a little nice. Have some I don't know Luther Vandross playing in the background. Yeah, the, to set the yeah. tone. Though. The thing I, I don't know if we don't want to cook Valentine's Day. I mean, I think it's a one way that you can show your appreciation. I don't know, I wouldn't mind cooking, like, say, oh, home nice. for Valentine's Day. So this, yeah, this Valentine's Day is about to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in a cold place, going ice skating is always really nice. So, like, if you're on the East Coast or anywhere where it's, like, there's snow or ice, 
Ice skating is nice um, if you are in warmer weather. Walking around a park, going to like a botanical garden, those are always like really cute and they make for really nice pictures. Um, so those are dates. Mm -hmm. And then gift wise, yeah, cologne, a home cooked meal, um, chocolate, wine. Yep. What else can you gift? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's really. And I think for the moment, jewelry is also nice. Jewelry. Mm. Like a necklace or a bracelet, earrings. So, funny enough, what I find out gifts of Valentine's Day. Oh, really? You're more of an experiences? Experiences, share the love. Share the love. No. Interesting. No, I guess, have I gotten a gift? That, no, that's a good point. We actually don't do gifts. <laughs> so it's definitely possible whether you are a couple who's together in person or long distance to experience Valentine's Day in some way um, and also remember that like your friends your family and you can also spend Valentine's Day with them and then lastly spend Valentine's Day with yourself and make sure that you give yourself some me time you know maybe take yourself out for a massage um, don't wait for someone else to like do the things that you want done for you. So thanks you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a great Valentine's Day, even if it is last minute. Sometimes the last minute ones turn out to be the most fun. Yep. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Why do you always say bye so late? <laughs>